A 2015 high-profile beating caught on surveillance in San Francisco at the hands of law enforcement is back in the spotlight tonight. KPI x -Fi's Kenny Choi live at the Hall of Justice in San Francisco with that for us. Kenny? Alan, the district attorney's office announcing today that it is refiling charges against two former Alameda County Sheriff's deputies. The arraignment happening just a few hours ago in a courtroom behind me. The beating of Stanislav Petrov in a San Francisco alley caught on surveillance led to the firing of Alameda County Sheriff's deputies Luis Santa Maria and Paul Weber. The two defendants leaving court today. Mr. Weber, anything you'd like to say? After pleading not guilty. What happened on that night? The incident unfolded on November 12, 2015 after a high-speed chase that started in Alameda County ended on Stevenson Alley in San Francisco. We're not out to get anyone. We're out to enforce the law. We're out to ensure that the public can trust men and women wearing uniform. Former mayoral candidate Richie Greenberg is leading a recall effort against Boudin. He's, he's trying to do something to save face with the voters that uh, that chose him back in 2019. Um, he he made the promise that he was going to uh, hold law enforcement officers accountable if they're Drop the knife! But in two other high profile incidents, including this one with body cam footage showing Antonio Estrada, a knife wielding man lunging towards officers on 5th and Market Streets on November 17th last year. Boudin's office today announcing it is not pursuing charges. Charges against Santa Maria and Weber include assault by a public officer, battery with serious bodily injury, and assault with a deadly weapon. How do you convince your critics that this, this decision was not politically motivated? Watch the video. Watch the numerous unprovoked baton strikes repeatedly battering an unarmed man. Since taking office last year, the DA's office has charged five law enforcement officers. This case almost went to a trial last year in March of 2020, but because a key witness for the prosecution was unable to attend the trial because of a medical issue, that led to a first dismissal, ultimately leading to the district attorney's office to refile those charges again today. The two defendants will appear in court next Friday to discuss details of a possible preliminary hearing. We're live in San Francisco tonight. Kenny Choi, KPIX 5. It's a high profile one. Kenny, we'll keep a watch on it. Thank you.